All right, this is my state of the collection for 2023. Doing this video because I saw Captain Christian's channel do one of these and I, I thought it was a good video and he asked me to do one too. So here we go. I'm starting with, I'm not starting in no particular order, but this one here, this one I've had in my collection the longest. Um, this is my fitness watch. And this thing is actually so good that I, it's, it's destroyed G-Shocks for me because it's just better. It's, it's been, it's tough as nails. I've done marathons with this, uh, half marathons, trail runs, swimming, tactical stuff uh, for the military. And uh, it's, it's just been slugging through all of it. And uh, you see the, the strap here, this isn't the original strap at all. This thing's been through three straps, um, completely through them, like not salvageable. Uh, and it's still just fine. So this thing's not going anywhere this year. All right, next up here, we have this uh, Rotary Elite. All right, it's a little dirty, that's okay. I got this guy here later on in 2022. It's very nice, it's a very unique watch. Not too many of these guys around. Quartz, dual face quartz. Really unique though. And this Rotary, this isn't the same Rotary as of today, this is the this is a Swiss, Swiss watch making company at the time. Now it, I believe they say British design on them. Really cool little dress watch. Okay, speaking of dress watches, we got these, my two uh, Omegas in the collection. This one here is my original, the first one I got, gold, 34 millimeter, uh, stubby lug, uh, chubby lug, I think it's called, uh, Seamaster. Um, this thing is really hard to film and photograph, actually. It looks way better in person. You know, it's got a bit of patina on there. It's got like a kind of a dual tone, but uh, really cool watch. This one's going nowhere in the collection for sure, sticking around. Then I got this one. This one's kind of cool. Um, you open it up and the, the movement from the 1950s is just in great condition. The case back has scribbles all over it from every time it's been serviced. The only unfortunate thing about this guy here is it has been the original owner had it, the dial redone because uh, I guess he didn't like, you know what happens with the age of a watch from 1950. So he got new hands on it and everything like that. Um, recently but uh that's okay i don't mind it i like the look of it still i love that 12 o'clock mark on this thing Right. now for something completely different we have this tactical frog this is a homage uh, tactical frog fxd it's got the fixed lugs here this thing's all titanium this is the version 3 so the bezels a bit better still not great but uh, you know it is a goes both ways here it does line up nicely um, but because it's titanium on titanium it's a bit sticky weird to move around Anyways, this thing's been, this thing's actually blown me away for the price. Um, it's a, uh, it's a loom absolutely is incredible. I've never seen a watch with better loom than this cheap, all titanium tactical frog. So it's cool. I actually just got this to kind of check out, but I might keep it around for a while. We'll see. Right. Oh, it's a little messy there. Okay, 
The glycine airmen, still messy. Flat sapphire crystal does that to you, I guess. Glycine airman, 24 hour dial. I've had this thing for a while. It's been beat up. It's not going anywhere. It's just a great, great piece. 200 meter water resistance. I've dropped this before in the in the river. Thank God it was shallow. Um, when I was fishing with my son, he caught his first fish. I was wearing this watch. So yeah, it's probably not going anywhere. It's cool to have a uh, kind of a 24 hour dual time watch and um, it's cool that this is the first you know glycine is the first one to do it beat out rolex by a year so stay in and the newest watch to the collection is this seiko they're all messy Seiko Flightmaster, which most of you guys are going to know about this one, the SNA 411, recently discontinued. Just a great, great watch. Put on my wrist here quickly. Just the dimensions of it, it's so busy, but yet for its size, it just fits perfectly on my wrist. I like this guy, I've been wearing it all week. And that's, this is the last watch for my state of the, of the collection. And uh, where's my collection gonna go in 2023? I don't know, I'm pretty happy with the way things are right now. I might just keep things the way they are and start saving for something. I'm not sure quite, I haven't narrowed it quite down what I need, right? If you take a look at the collection here, you guys can maybe help me out on what you guys think I am missing. I'm kind of recently thinking of the uh, IWC Mark 20, IWC Spitfire. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what watch you guys think I should get. That's it for me. Thanks for watching.